If you're somebody who's into pizza, if you're somebody who's into spicy food, both of these pizzas smack. But <laughs> when I'm in this chair, I have to crown a winner, and I do have a winner. My favorite of the pizzas was... As the host of First We Feast Hot Ones, Sean Evans has faced off against Carolina Reapers, gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pepper X, and devoured more than 2,000 scorching hot chicken wings. It's tough to make this guy break a sweat, but what happens when you harness the power of spice and combine it with one of Sean's favorite foods on the planet? Today, I'm setting out on a mission to create the ultimate spicy pizza for Sean, one that cranks up the heat, but also tastes delicious. My challenger today is Chef Mike Carter from Down North Pizza in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Down North is an amazing mission-based pizzeria owned and operated by the formerly incarcerated. And their spicy Detroit-style pies have become a huge hit in the city of brotherly love. Can Mike and I come up with pizza spicy enough to make Sean feel the burn? There's only one way to find out. Today we've got Mike Carter in the building from Down North Pizza. We are thrilled to have you here on Pizza Wars. How are you doing today? I'm great, Nicole. Thank you for having me. What's fully up? When I heard about you guys, I thought what you guys were doing was so amazing. Why don't you tell the folks at home all about your business? Down North Pizza is in the heart of Strawberry Mansion section of North Philly. We do Detroit style pizza with Philly influence because it wouldn't be what it is if it didn't have all that Philly flavor. And our mission is to combat recidivism. Yes. So we set out to be the catalyst and be the change that we want to see in our neighborhoods. So you guys only hire people that were formerly incarcerated. Yeah, some people, they call it reverse discrimination, but like, I'm not trying to hear that noise, oh, you know no, what I mean? Like, oh, no. it's like, we hiring people that are from the same background and we're giving them the second chance that they deserve. I'm with you all the way. Well, today, Mike, it's all about spicy pizza. To you, what makes a good spicy pizza? Balance because uh, sometimes like you may eat something that's too hot and I may like it, you know what I mean? Right. But somebody else, they knock it down just because maybe it wasn't enough fat to combat the spice. It's all about marriage. So today we're gonna make some pieces that are crazy spicy, but also crazy delicious. And I can't wait to see what you got going on. So today I have my sauce it up pizza. It's a smoked chicken Thai curry pizza. At Down North, we do square pies, slinging pies and saving lives. And <laughs> we start off with the square dough and our four cheese blend. So it's mozzarella, low moisture mozz, provolone and cheddar. This chicken right here, I massaged it. Oh with this Excuse hot sauce. Me. And then oh. I let it rock out at 165 in the sous vide. I got the grill started, threw the chicken thighs on there and I let it go, finish You describing this pizza makes me want to faint. Oh man, I don't <laughs> want you to faint. I'm like, and then what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, from here, I'm gonna throw it in the oven and I'm gonna finish it off with the garnish. Okay, like. looks pretty. Thank you so much. So into the oven we go. All right, I think it's done. Time to see what we're doing. Let's go. Oh, there it goes. Looking good. Nice and cheesy. As far as like Detroit pies go, the edge, they call it the crown. Well, since we're combating recidivism at Down North Pizza, we like to call it the cheese fence. The crispiness of it, it makes the perfect crust. So I cut it into my six slices, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's time to put the toppings on top. Yes. So a healthy squeeze of this red curry sauce right there. And this is my hot sauce blend. So I pickled up some bird chilies, a little ginger, a couple other things. Okay. And of course, we need these accoutrements right here. Get these onions all over the pizza. And these are some pickled carrots. And then we are gonna finish it off with a couple of these pickled peppers. I'm just gonna clap for you one time. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank wonderful. you so much. But, but now, let's get into this. I'm ready for my slice. You ready for your slice? Let's go. Okay, well, cheers. There Bing. you go. Oh man, the heat is hitting me now. You sure you don't need a little bit more? I no, mm -mm. it's spicy. <laughs> it's definitely spicy. Everybody needs a little bit of spice in their life. Mm -hmm. The dough is nice and pillowy. The dough is actually helping <laughs> cool down my mouth because you have enough dough where it can just take away some of that heat. They got your balance approval? Yeah, it got, no, like it's hot. You know, it's hot. <laughs> but. It's flavorful. I love it. No doubt. Thank you, sis. Well, you did a phenomenal job. Knocked it out the park. Are you ready to see what I'm going to do? Yeah, let's get it. All right. 
Mike. All right, Mike. So today, what I am making is a Nashville chicken pizza. Have you ever had Nashville chicken? Yeah, I love it. You do? I love it. Oh my God, this is right up my alley then. All right, I hope you really like mine. So first things first is I'm using my good old trusty New York dough that's been fermenting for two days. Okay. So when I did Last Dragon Pizza, I was known for my hot, marinara so that's my marinara a nice healthy amount then we're going to take our 50 50 blend part skin part whole milk mozzarella a little garlic powder and then now i'm going to put this in the oven just came out of the oven and now it's time to dress it so first things first is i'm going to put some onions down and then it is Nashville hot chicken, so I'm gonna put some pickles down, bread and butter pickles I'm using. And then we're gonna take this beautiful chicken here, and I'm just gonna toss it in this Nashville hot sauce. We put some brown sugar, cayenne pepper, and to just bring a little extra heat, we put a little scorpion pepper mm. in the oil. What do you think so far? I love Nashville hot chicken. Like, I played with the idea before, but I think Nicole is taking me to school on how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and just put a little extra heat and just gonna toss a little red peppers Ooh. all over that. And then finally, I'm just gonna drop some dill. I always think dill and fried chicken just go so well together. And that's it. What do you think? Sexy. <laughs> I'm glad. We wanna make sexy pizza. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Mmm. It's a creeper. Oh, it's hot. You just slam dancing. Mm-hmm. That's Nashville hot chicken for you. You know, the judge is Sean Evans. He's used to this heat. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like a little heat, but this is a lot of heat. Here's some milk or something. <laughs> cool you down. <laughs> Man, I'm loving everything that you did here from the crust we got going on with the dough. That's like the most important thing, you know, when you're making a piece of the, the infrastructure. And then what you did with this chicken, it is so delicious. Bread and butter pickles. I think they actually bought like that sweet kicked with it and those herbs at the end, that dill. If I'll get a Nashville hot sandwich, I want it to taste like this pizza. Oh, thank you so much. Well, Mike, your pizza was phenomenal. I feel like I did my thing as well, but we've got the one and only perfect judge for this challenge, Sean Evans from Hot Ones. Part of the First We Feast family. We're so happy to have him in the building, and he's gonna try both of our pizzas. Are you ready? Yes, let's get ready to rumble. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. So when I come to Pizza Wars, I'm pretty simple. You know, they're both gonna make amazing pizzas. I already know that. So I think what's gonna push a pizza over the finish line or over the goal line for me is gonna be the way that they incorporate spice, how does it elevate the pizza, and then the creative ways that they do it. Is it tasty? How is spice infused? Is it clever? Is it creative? And is it worth breaking a sweat for? All right, so I'm about to try the first slice Mmm, delicious pizza, amazing pizza. I'm not sure I was expecting any spice when I first bit it. I didn't really taste it up front. Then after you swallow, it leaves like kind of like a aromatic, spicy trail behind it that has now kind of lit up my whole mouth and has my eyes watering a little bit. So a solid like 6.5, I would say, on heat and then up there close to a 10 on taste. On a constructive criticism level, it's maybe a little bready. It's got some muffin on it. It's got a little muffin on it. All right, bring in the next pizza. We have our second pizza, and I have to say, it's a beautiful pizza. All right, I'm gonna dive in. Blown away by the pizza. Blown away a little bit by the heat, too. I, I would say it's coming in a way that I, I'm reminded of being on the show almost. Also for me, I've eaten so much chicken that like the wings, I don't really eat it in my free time because I'm so burnt out on it. So the chicken has to smack for me to just go in and seek it out. And that's where I'm at with this pizza is I'm seeking out the chicken. It's so good. All right, so I've tried my pizzas. I have my winner filed away. It's now time to bring out Mike, bring out Nicole, and crown a winner. 
Sean, I'm so happy you're back. Welcome back. Thanks so much for having me. We couldn't have done this with anybody else but you. <laughs> well, I appreciate you having me on your show because you always feed me so well. <laughs> you know, both of these pizzas were so good, so thanks for having me. No problem. We can't take it any longer. We worked very hard on our pies. Tell us what you thought of both of them. All right, so first off, I love both of them. There are no losers today. It is just winners because both of these pizzas, if you're somebody who's into pizza, if you're somebody who's into spicy food, both of these pizzas smack. I first tried this Detroit style pizza and I knew that it'd be amazing right off the bat because it has that perfect Detroit style crust. What I really loved about it from a spice perspective is it kind of left like a spice trail. Now on over to the Nashville style fried chicken. The way that it was cooked I thought was great. I was telling people earlier it's tough for me to get back into chicken because I eat so much chicken. I eat so much hot sauce. When I'm off the clock that chicken has to be so good for me to be into it and this chicken was so good. I thought it was just kind of a perfect pie in so many ways. So both pizzas, amazing. But <laughs> when I'm in this chair, I have to crown a winner and I do have a winner on this challenge. My favorite of the pizzas was The Nashville style fried chicken. Oh, yay! Thank you. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. But no, congratulations to you. I never do this, Mike. I never do this. But all the good work you're doing, I'm going to forfeit my win today. You are the winner because you're a winner in real life. Thank you. I never do that. <laughs> I never do this. You're the winner. I love everything you're doing. I wish you much success. Thank you so much for being a part of our show. Thanks for having me on, Nicole. Like, it was an awesome experience being up here, chopping it up with you in the back, in the green room, or whatever. That's right. Like, yeah. You're such a dope person, and thanks for having me on here. My pleasure. See you next time on Pizza Wars.